Father of six, Magadi is going to move in with old flame Emma before leaving the zoo. Keepers hope he'll go out with a bang. But Magadi doesn't have eyes for Emma. Because rhinos have got quite poor eyesight, they're going to be using their sense of smell, and um, that's what he'll use to work out that she's worth pursuing. We've come up with sort of like a procedure, and it's been successful um, quite a number of times now. Before we will put them together, uh, we will start leaving scent markings. What we will do is take some poo from one and the other and then swap them uh, in the paddocks. So this is my garden's poo here. I'm just going to pop this in Emma's enclosure. When he comes out, he'll probably come straight over and have a good sniff of it. It's like smelling someone's like smelly socks or something. I think it's, you know, like if you've been at the gym and you've got a lot of sweat on you and you, it's that sort of pheromones that you're giving off. Male rhinos are going to always be sort of on the lookout and on the, you know, on the sniff, essentially, to, to see whether there is a female rhino around. And they do this thing called a Fleming response. So they, they sort of hold their top lip up in the air. They sort of waft the smell across a, kind of like a hole in their mouth. That's them telling them exactly where the female is in her cycle and whether she's ready or not. Jim sock method seems to be paying off. <laughs> Magadi and Emma, they finally sort of made that contact through the fence. The fact that they have come together, you know, almost given each other a little peck on the cheek is really positive. There is always kind of that n nervous kind of feeling about of, you know, how are they going to be? together when they're finally in the same pen together. You never know what's going to happen. It might just be that that day they really don't like each other. There's a sniff of romance at the Black Rhino Reserve. Today, tried and tested stud Magadi has a chance for one final swan song with Emma before leaving the zoo. The worst thing that could happen from this mixing is that things get too aggressive to the point where the female is in danger. In the past, we have seen male rhinos flip females over. All right, I'm going to let my guardy out. Oh, that's all right, mate. It's just me. It's just me. Well done. Good boy. And the fact that Magadi and Emma, they have bred before, you can be a little bit more confident, but until you've actually seen them calm together and sort of interacting how they should be, yeah, you always stay a little bit nervous. He hasn't noticed it yet. Magadi hasn't mated for more than two years. I still think regardi has got that magic. He's got that special charm. And I've got absolutely no doubt that it will work this time. It's good. <laughs> Um, it's not quite. <laughs> what a lemon. I'm not sure he can um, do anything from the side. 
yeah, it was not very, like, working. It was not working. I think it, it's instincts kick in. It's almost a saying, do it, and um, he's just done it slightly wrong. Come on, mate. Sort yourself out. It's just that he's getting his brain engaged, like getting himself in gear. Um, he, he just needs to work out where exactly he needs to go. Come on, Em, sort him out. A little bit more. Come on. No, that didn't work. The old pro has made a schoolboy error and Emma appears unimpressed. Magardi needs to improve his aim if he's to cement his legacy at Chester. Eastern black rhinos, there's only about 700 of these sort of left in, in the wild. So it's really important for this mixing to go well. We, we'd love another a rhino calf, especially as Magardi's going soon. It's his last chance, really. It's kind of now or never. 